Holy Tubes is trying out here. I'm doing this video for two reasons. One, the Duelist Grounds Championship Washington DC event is started and I'm going to be playing round one later tonight. And many people have been asking for my deck list. So this is the deck list I'm going to be using for the tournament and the deck list I've been using in person for a while. Um, it's basic TG engine. Two Barbaros, which a lot of people are starting to cut, but I still really like. Uh, two King Tigers, because they shut down decks. The wind-ups, their real out is to go, like, Shark Mind Control, which is really, really flimsy, and in general, the deck just loses to a King Tiger. Insectors is kind of similar, but they still have Centipede, so it's not a complete blowout, but it's still very solid. Photon Saber Tiger is iffy. I'm, I really don't like this card, but it's better than Maining Thunder King, I think. But a lot of people had success Maining Thunder King, so I don't know if I can really say that. I just don't like Thunder King in this deck. Um... I feel it's a more solid card than a lot of other options, so I'm choosing to main it right now. I'm not sure if it's going to stay this way, but I've been liking how it's tested, and I don't really want to change the main deck. Uh, standard spells. The Recall. Uh, a lot of people are cutting this card. I strongly disagree with this. I feel like Call of the Haunted allows you to put on so much beats, and that's really the big reason you play this deck, is that you're just going to be really aggressive really early. Between Call of the Haunted for a TG in response to an MST blind that they decided to do for whatever reason, or call the Haunted on Barbaros to keep the beats going, or even call the Haunted on King Tiger after they kill the King Tiger with Dark Hole. It, it really just sh shuts the game down and allows you to take control much more efficiently than you would with other cards. Like, a lot of people are playing bottomlesses over these, and I just feel Call of the Haunted is much better than one for one removal. Uh, I'm still playing Three Horned the Phantom Beast. This card's just really good. It, it could. It's basically the reason I'm playing Photon Saber Tiger. If I wasn't playing Tiger, I probably wouldn't be playing Horns, but because I'm playing Tiger, I get to play Horns, and I like playing Horns. It's one of my favorite cards in the game. Three Skill Drains. I feel Skill Drain is a pillar of the format, and really just shuts every deck down, which is really what you're trying to do with this deck. It also enables Barbaros and makes Saber Tigers big. An interesting thing with Saber Tiger and Skill Drain is when you summon Saber Tiger, you always activate it, even if you have a Skill Drain on the field, because this way, if they Torrential it, you still get your search. If they Bottomless, you still get your search. Just something It's good to know. Uh, fake Trap. Uh, I was playing three Bribe, but I cut one of the Bribes for the Fake Trap. I, it's really just testing. I don't want to play a third Bribe because it feels too conservative, but I also don't want to play a Starlight Road because that's too greedy. In testing, the Starlight Road just never flipped, and the Dark Bribe was causing me to lose some games just because it was a bad card. Uh, so, I just cut down a little on Bribes, still have the Storm Hate, but yeah. Uh, two Solemn Warnings, two Eternal Tributes, two Dimensional Prisons, one Solemn Judgment, one Mirror Force. I have a pretty generic sideboard. Uh, one Cyber Dragon, one Judicity Master, one Valor, two Thunder King, two Crow, one Banisher, two Bottomless, three MSTs, a Deep Prison and Breaker. Uh, basically, these cards go in against everyone. The Breaker and three MSTs. Just, if there's any chance of deciding to create, these goes in. These go in, and decks that don't side to create, you probably want MST and Breaker against anyway. Um, against decks like Windups, you put in like these three monsters, sometimes four monsters, while cutting Saber Tigers. Against Rabbit, you do these monsters. These four monsters cutting saber tigers, um, and then bottomless is going against rabbit, taking out horns, and against dark world taking out skill drains. Uh, versus dark world, you side like ten cards. I think it goes like crows, banisher, two bottomless, the dimensional prison, and the breaker. Yeah, these ten go in against dark world taking out the three horns, the three drains, the two torrentials, the mirror force, and I think the fake trap. Uh, yeah. Um, in general, I feel this deck is really solid and is definitely a contender. It's been testing well for me in person. I've dropped, I think, two games at locals since the beginning of the format, and I play in two locals a week, so it's something. Um, so yeah, it's a cheap alternative if you don't want to sp spend the money on Rabbit, and it works. Uh, I'll see you when round one starts.